Hello, people. Welcome to the United Way TV. I'm Rav Dukan, your daily presenter here on the United Way TV. Look, guys, for those of you who have subscribed, massive, massive thanks, guys. And uh, I would like to ask you guys, when you see these videos, just like them so it can uh, the algorithm can send it to more um, United fans or football fans. We want to hit just 10,000 subscribers. And I know you guys are more than that. I know you guys can do it. So please help us hit that number, just 10,000, so we can start uh, bringing in professional journalists here for interviews that will be paid we were ready to pay for a cash but you know to make us uh, look well but yeah guys remember when united play was playing uh, before united played against uh, manchester uh, city i told you guys that if united wins um i'm giving this one of, to one of you this is one of our mention nights uh, and uh, if uh, today is the last day if you write on us on instagram everything is below here we are going to get uh, back to you and also guys for those of you who are on facebook please contact facebook because they have blocked me i don't know i own a channel i own a group of facebook the united way tv football channel and i have over 160,000 followers doing nothing that for some reasons i don't know what happened but yeah let's get to the news guys sorry for the time here but let's go straight yeah united there's a lot of transfer going on with manchester united now and um I just want to tell you guys that you will hear a lot of transfer news, so you should be very careful to know where you get your news on. On these short videos, what we do is we do react to news. And thanks for all of you who have gained your patience and watching and listening with all. So you know this is an old news, new old news. Manchester United are interested in signing Everton, uh, you know, um, uh, defender G uh, Gerard. Uh, uh, Brathwaite. Brathwaite, you know he is uh, the English international now, plays for Everton. This is a player which will cost United at least a 60 to 70 million i know they are talking about 80 but i don't think 80 will be something that united will be ready to pay but uh 60 million will be uh between i think the, i think the debate will be between 60 and 70 million maybe exchanging players on the other side i don't know but uh this is where we are with uh, with jason with Bradway. Um, it's not, 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 it's an old news. It's an old news, to be honest. This is not something which will, we are surprised of. But yeah, another big news here for United, guys. Uh, it's uh, one of our, our, our coaches that is, um, you know, uh, uh, Benny Makati, the South African coach. He used to be in charge of United's uh, attacking playing style. He was well appreciated by most of you who watched United games last season for Rashford's form. Let me be wearing this so you can choose which of them you want in future. The two colors, the Bordeaux. I, lo I love this. So he was in charge of the United attacking system. He was giving too much credits about Rash for Rashford's uh, form last season. But I think all of this... Uh, I mean, this is just banana skin. I don't think that. I think players need to motivate themselves. I mean, Rashford is a professional player. You cannot always uh, uh, give uh, responsibility from a player, an outdoor big man like Rashford, the senior guy, to managers. I know some people, so there is this uh, talk uh, online on Twitter that Benny McCarthy has to be blamed for Rashford's uh, bad poor season. Holy shit. I don't know where we are living, but tell me it's up to you. That's the real world. That's where we are living today. So let's go to another news. We're trying to do that marathon because we love to save your time. And uh, guys, please click the like on the video if you're enjoying because we're going to a very, very straight news, which most of you love. And this is this guy, Mason Greenwood. What would be a video without Mason Greenwood? Mason Greenwood is actually the most, not the most valuable player United have, the most valuable player youth that Manchester United have today i know some of you will say it's kobe menu but i'm talking in terms of talent greenwood is a great mason greenwood uh, is on a different level to be honest if it's not because of what went through his, his private life Greenwood would have been playing could be in the, in the level where we're talking of the real madrid yeah so um i think uh greenwood uh the greenwood story will keep continue but these are good news for those of you who really want united to do some 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 good business this summer because we'll have to sell these are good news and i'll tell you another good news after this immediately but see look atletico madrid uh uh yeah this is this is this is the from the daily star saying that manchester united are considering greenwood swap deal with atletico madrid joao felix joao felix you know the portuguese is a player which united have always want look coming bringing in a player for like joao felix for for Mason Greenwood really makes sense. Why? I want to tell you guys what the United want to be a ball possession team. They, we want to, the, the only criticism we had, I think the criticism Eric Tenner had this season wasn't actually the bad result. The, was actually was more the playing style, which at some time, let's be honest, I want Ten Hag to stay. I even want them to extend him another year contract. But the playing style was really abysmal. It was really bad. 
United were this bad, you will to an extent where those old cliches started like are the players playing for the manager the players have given up for the manager and i hate that because players don't have to play for managers players play for the contract plays for the fans firstly play for the contract which when they are there they sign it they can buy any car they want they have to play for the fans all that idiotism which is a they're not playing for the manager the manager they don't have to play for the manager and uh, you say, oh, come on, that's the way it works. You have to play for manager, which means if you are saying if players have to play for managers, it means players can sack and bring in manager, You're giving too much power on players. Players play for the manager and the manager sees that it's not okay. The manager keeps the players out. It's, it, sh it should be, football is a very simple game, but you know, with, with too much money and uh, media involvement, we have, uh, there are all these terms that have been coming out and uh, which are um, uh, a little bit uh, strange, uh, yeah, um, yeah, in the morning game. Yeah, well, so I think uh, uh, Joao Felix is a technical player. I think I know he didn't do well in Chelsea. He's in Atletico. I guess he he has had an average season. But I think in a creative attack line, he might be good. He's a very technical player. He's not a typical nine, but he can play the nine and a half. You know what I mean? Yeah, so um, he can play the Bruno role without being very creative like Bruno. You know, he plays with Bruno in Portugal. In Portugal, He plays, uh, but he's a different kind of attacker who is very creative. I think, um, uh, what do you think, guys? Because I honestly think that uh, um, Holland uh, has to have uh, uh, has to have competition. We need to have competition attack. And um, and I'll tell you something about Marco Trasher, which I think is going to happen. Nobody is telling me this. I am... I will, well, let me, well, I regress. Let me continue. So, um, as I was coming about Joe Felix, I think he's a very good player with, with Greenwood. Oh, if he's injury free, right, and he can play very many games and he's ready to, to, to graph in Manchester United, he is not a bad player, guys. Don't come to me and tell me that guy is, that kid is a calendar player. How old is he? I think 23 or four. So he is not even 25. Um, uh, um, uh, Joao Felix. So, uh, uh, the reason uh, then another player I want to talk with now is uh, a player which I think will help United gain that finance which we need to buy players, and that's Jason Sancho. Sancho will be playing tomorrow the finance for Champions League with Borussia Dortmund. He might bite. I have to use the word might now since United beats uh, City. He might win the Champions League. There is a might there. There's a massive might there, but I, I but I doubt because Real Madrid is a team which is drilled for finals of Champions League. It will be very difficult to beat Real Madrid in finals, uh, finals for the Champions League. I think the last time Real Madrid lost a final in the Champions League, it was, it was um, in European competition. They were beaten by Sir Alex Ferguson's uh, team, uh, not Manchester United. Yeah. Uh, the Scottish team, uh, Abidin, here, yeah, uh, trashed, uh, beat them. I mean, that was a long time ago. I think that was in the early 80s, yeah. Sometime there, yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah. Yeah, coming about Sancho, I think Sancho, uh, uh, well, I don't think, Donman wants to buy Sancho. United has come out with a price for Sancho. United won 50 million pounds, Toshka. 50 million euros, I think, yes, pound, Toshka, which is roughly 40 million pounds. Let me put it this way, 40, 45 within that uh, exchange rate. So what is your opinion about that? I know the TikTok fans, you know the TikTok fans, those of you who swipe like, oh, Ronaldinho, oh. I know most of you are out there saying, oh, you know what, let's bring Sancho because he was good with Dortmund. I am one of those who think Sancho is too slow to play the Premier League at the highest level. He is a super technical player who can sometimes wow people, but I will admit that he is a bit slow. He is uh, he is just a step slower than an average um, winger. He's not quick, and uh, that's why he has issue. He's technically good. He's an old school uh, uh, left winger. And the thing is that we were attracted to the charm that he has in terms of the, his creativity, but understanding the Premier League, it, it will be difficult. That is why when I heard that, or oh, United wants um, to bring in, it was Javi, I heard that maybe United should bring Javi from Manchester in, uh, to the club to sign him. I said, come on, Javi will not do well in, in, in the Premier League. The Premier League is so aggressive. It's not uh, a ball possession league. It's a more, it's a, let me put it, it's hard metal league, as, uh, as Klopp always called it. You need to play hard metal football to be successful in the Premier League. So um, that's it about uh, Sancho as well. 
But what do we have here? The northern news here is clearly about this young kid. I don't know if you guys know this kid, Chambala. Chambala, it's a. Uh, uh, is Sky has come out just some minutes ago and said the uh, independent uh, report uh, said uh, reported uh, that oh the independent have reported that Manchester United are considering a move for Chelsea Trevor Chambala. So who is Chambala? Twenty four years old he, player is an African descent. Some of you hate me when I talk about African. That's the way he is from Sierra Leone, Cape Town, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Chambala, 24 years old. Yeah, he played in Chelsea. I watched some of his games when he, he before he had uh, an injury. And guess what? He's not, he is like, not nine foot. He's one meter 92. So he's six foot four, something of that sort. So yeah, um, the thing with, with Chambala, which I like, is not only his age, because I have watched him play. He is very aggressive. He is uh, very quick. He can play the high line. And uh, that's uh, just few of one of just a few of his qualities that he has, and I think he will make a good defender for Manchester United. Tell me what you think below about Chamba uh, Chambala uh, coming, and you might ask why Chelsea have to sell. Uh, Chelsea has a pro uh, FFP problems, which is a uh, financial fair play if you yeah, problem issue. So they are forced to sell. They need to sell some of their assets. Mm, that could be the same thing with Manchester United selling Greenwood. That's a clear profit in order to cut your expenditures with the FFP, FFP rules. And that's um, the, what they are trying to achieve in selling some of their key players. But my friends, I want to tell you this. They are trying to sell us Chamber and Four. I've heard the fee has been like between 40, 50 million. 50 million for a player who hasn't proven in the Premier League. 50 million player which is not international. 50 million for what can I, I mean, it's crazy. I think Chamberlain, for a very good class for him for Chelsea, would be 40 at max. 40 and 30. How many games has he played in the Premier League? It, he is still a prospect. So we should not. This is the problem with the Premier League, guys, that when a, a young player comes in, they just boost the player. And when they, uh, the player, when it's time to, to face the music, they can, the players can maintain the pressure. So, guys, I wanted to make it 10 million. Sorry, it is just now over 12 minutes. I uh, would we'll love uh, for, oh, if you learned something in the video first away, please make sure you click the like on the video, guys. You know, I'm not a journalist. I'm a United fan, fan of football. I've been wearing this a lot, maybe because it matches with the with the white T-shirt. But let me do this. I love this. I love this in winter because it's just so warm. Whoops, whoops. Mr. Dukan. Yeah. So uh, there, there, there I am. And I want to say this in regards to... Players coming to United, uh, I'm so one of the best things that's happened today in this presentation. I haven't spoken about Ten Hag, even though I think uh, we might be hearing some bad news about Ten Hag, uh, uh, which I think is one of the biggest mistakes this club has ever done. But uh, yeah, let's stay tuned. So, guys, it's a short video. As I said earlier, make sure you click the like on the video. Thanks for all of you. This is not my channel. This is your channel. So all of you who have subscribed, all of you who are sharing the video, you can see below that you need to share the videos. You are legends. Only legends come to the channel. This is a channel that hosts legends. Hopefully we can be going live stream in this, this summer. So guys, please, please, please help us hit that 10K. It will be fantastic. It will be even more than Manchester United buying their main players for us because that gives us an opening for us to start bringing in valuable uh, clients here in the channel, which will be accessing your content. Well, with that all said, guys, I love the short videos. I love the short videos because it's just on point without rambling. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.